Well, hello everybody, I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular, and I have this mystery box that was actually sent to me by a viewer. They said that, hey, go check your P.O. box, and then they sent this stuff. Um, there's some things in here that I have no idea why they sent them, but I believe that they did send them for a reason. So please, please, if you're viewing this video and you got some time, leave me some comments on the things that I'm curious about on what they are and why they may be uh, special, because um, yeah, I just, I just didn't notice. I'm not saying that they're not special. I'm not saying I'm not grateful, but I didn't notice why they were sent. So without further ado, let's get into the video and see what uh, kind of mystery coins and things are actually inside of this little uh, old Nintendo DS pouch right now. Well, hello everybody. I seek to educate and entertain through my journey of collecting coins and stacking precious metals. I encourage you to subscribe and please stay with me on this journey. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. Let's see. Um, ooh, look at these. Those are pretty cool. Let's come back to those. We got a loose as a goose little uh, nickel there. Okay. Got some more things down in the depths. I don't know what that is. Let's get back to it. Looks like some kind of piece round or something. Um, and not piece dollar, but like a piece round. These are in a little baggie. Uh, let's see. Let's keep going. Let's keep going, rather. Uh, that, I think that's it. Um, Nintendo DS. Huh? Remember, anybody remember that? I never had a Nintendo DS. So, switch and carry, it says. I feel like there's something else in there, though. Ah! What is that? Used all the different... Uh, I Honestly, I didn't even look in that. So, I don't know what that is. Okay. Um, and then, there's like a whole bunch of bills right here. So, I don't know what to get into first, to be honest. But... Uh, let's go with the mystery. This is this is something I didn't see yet, so let's see what this is all about. I don't know if I need gloves or if I should be scared that there's a snake in here. What do we got here? Um, I see... Okay, hold on. Let's zoom in. I see a newer dollar coin, American Silver Eagle. I see a Morgan dollar, which has like a little dink on it right there, which would tell me that it's a, uh, a coal coin. And then I have a peace dollar right here. Uh, common date, 80, what is that, 87? So second year of issue, still, you know, not too, you know, rare, but still cool. And then a 21, again, oh, a uh, extremely common date coin, but very, very neat. You think they're real? You think somebody was sending me these real coins. I mean, this is an expensive package if that's the case. Um, I do have a little tool that I try to keep by my desk. Let's see, right here. It's this little uh, pocket pinger. That'll tell me right away if it sounds right at least. Let's use this pocket pinger. You guys ever see one of these right here? These little Sound Money Metals pocket pingers? Pretty cool, pretty cheap too. I mean, it's one of those kind of tools you can just bring with you to a, uh, a coin shop and you can use it and you can actually even teach the coin shop owner sometimes be like, listen to this, listen to this. You have a fake or you have a real one. All right, here we go. You just tap it. I mean, it sounds good, but I wonder if that, that dink right there is causing it to sound a little bit off or something. That's a shame that dink because that's, you know, that's a, still a nice coin. And it's a lot of history right there. Over a hundred years old. And here's one that's actually a hundred years old, 1922 peace dollar. Let's listen to this one. I tell you what, they sound completely legit. They sound great. So um, I have to give a super thanks out already to the uh, to the sender of this package. So greatly appreciate it. You know, this is actually triple nine. So triple nine sounds a lot different than like a ninety percent coin or a um, uh, something like a sterling. So one thing I can do is I actually have this right here. We can test them real quick. I'm going to get back to the package. I, excuse me. I'm just curious what's going on here. Like, what's the special occasion? What did I do to deserve this? Uh, don't get me wrong. Super thankful and happy. Just, you know, wondering what I did. All right. So let's go. Um, oops. Let's go triple nine silver. We're going to try the, uh, the American silver eagle first, which, you know, is, it's that's a really nice coin. I don't see any issues with it. Uh, still even has some luster to it. So let's see what we got here. I mean, thank you. <laughs> it's a great coin. 
uh, legit in every way, no problems. Greatly appreciate that. Uh, let's see, I don't know, are they sending them to me because they're curious about them too, or it's just totally a gift? Um, and now I'm sitting here testing all his stuff, like trying to suggest it's not real. I'm just, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, perfect coin right there. Perfect, perfect. Now we can actually test this on that setting. So here's the peace dollar. Thank you. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. So now, before I go on and start going into other things, I want to get this little baggie right here because this right here, if he put a um, American Silver Eagle in that little side pouch, then why did he put an American Silver Eagle in this baggie? So I'm wondering if these right here are some fake coins. Let's see what we got here. Maybe I can show everybody right here, if it is a fake, what you're kind of looking for in a fake coin. Let me uh, put these over here. Did I lose one? I did lose one. There it is. So, yeah. So I can tell right away, actually, that this is a, a fake Silver Eagle. First of all, it's a little thinner than it should be. I, I can tell that almost right away um, right here. The thickness is just a little bit too, too thin. Um, it has... The mirroring on it right there, it looks fake. The, if you look at the flag right here, this little like um, crisscross design right there, I don't know what you want to call that, but it just totally looks terrible. Looks absolutely terrible. Um, you know, that's, that's easy stuff to identify without being any kind of an expert on coins right there. And I think we can actually take this real one that we just discovered and put it next to it. You can see how the thickness is different. Oh, even the diameter. The diameter is different too. It's just a little bit, a little bit smaller. I don't know if you can see, but you can see the other one sticking out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, man. Not good. You want to hear the difference on the, uh, the pinger just to see if we can hear a difference here. Let me zoom out a little bit. So here's the fake one for sure. It's fake. And we'll test it on the Sigma too, just for funsies. But here's the fake one. So it has like a very, it just kind of dies off very, very quick. Still, triple nine is going to die off quick, but um, shouldn't be that quick. Here's a, here's the real one now. Try to get it in the middle there. All right, here we go. Has a whole different ping to it, doesn't it? So um, yeah, and we can put it on the Sigma. So let's go back to the triple nine setting. Oops, run calibrate. Uh, going to the triple nine pure because that's what a real silver eagle should be and it's going to be outside of the brackets i can just guarantee it yeah it's outside the brackets i have a uh a rare earth magnet right here let me see if that sticks oh geez well that's much easier so magnets should not be able to stick to pure silver there's no sticking whatsoever that should happen and obviously that's a nice cheap chinese fake right there so easy to identify that uh, but still, hey, thanks for sending that to me. We've identified it. I can destroy it now. I can get to the bottom of it. And, uh, well, I did get to the bottom of it. <laughs> but it helped the community a little bit. Thank you very much. Um, what is this right here? Here is a Canadian dollar, 1987. And why was this in the package with everything else, though? Uh, or at least the, not everything else, but the fake right there. What's, what's the difference? This is all chewed up. This is kind of, this was an Indian head scent, and they hold it. And uh, you know what? Maybe I'll make something out of that. Maybe I'll put that through like a little, you know, key ring or something. I don't know. Uh, let's see. That Canadian dollar, I tell you what, that's a pretty, pretty coin, isn't it? I like how it's circular and it has like almost like that, um, you know, the line right there. I don't want to say it's an octagon because it's definitely more than eight. And is it a hexagon? Four or five? Could be a hexagon. There you go. There you go. Canadian dollar. It's a pretty dollar, man. They got pretty coins. Pretty coins. Uh, so we'll put that over here. I got a lot to go through, ladies and gentlemen. Got a lot to go through. This is a Canadian scent. I actually have a few of those that I found, well, in uh, when I was doing coin roll hunting. I found a few of those. So let me put this Sigma away. We don't need that anymore. It's like a fun little box. Thank you right there. I greatly appreciate you sending that to me. Um, let's see. To honor the past and protect the future. So let's see what this is all about right here. What is that behind it? It's got another coin behind it. Man, this is a super package. 
It's like, just keep finding things. Should I open this? Should I? <laughs> wow. Uh, to honor the past and the future. Oh, wow. Look how cool that is. That is super cool. Can you all see that? That is awesome. Department of Defense. Department of the Army. Of the Navy. That's cool, huh? Got the Air Force on there. That is super, super nice. I've never seen this piece. Are you all familiar with this piece? What's on the edge here? Uh, it's triple nine silver too. That's nice. Wow, that's a super, super special piece. That's cool. That's definitely gotta be a deep stack piece right there. I love how they did that. Man, that's cool. A lot of appreciation on this channel right here for sure for anybody who's you know, served and anybody thinking about serving, man. I tell you what, you have my, my respect for sure. Hope you hope you make it. Hope you can get in there. Hope you get a good retirement for it, man. And just be safe. That's all I ask. Be very, very safe. Uh, do your best and good things will always happen, right? This is a special piece. That's really cool. Thank you so much. That is nice. It's going to stay in that little box right there, too. And then what is this right here? A little Sacagawea dollar. I don't know if I want to take it out or not. It'll take me a while to take it out, but you can see... That nice Sacagawea dollar. I love, I love the Sacagaweas. Every time I can get, you know, my hands on one, if I go to a, you know, a bank or something, I say, hey, do you have like dollar coins? And I get like Sacagaweas um, or Eisenhower dollars. Always keeping them. Always keeping them. Susan B's. Um, yeah, sometimes I keep those too, but less in love with the Susan B. I definitely love the Sacagawea. Really a big fan. Uh, let's see. Okay, so mystery coin right here. I don't know what this is all about. I don't know what this is about. Definitely, uh, Looks like it landed on the pavement and got scratched up and ran over a few times is what it looks like to me. But uh, you can all tell me it's just a real chewed up piece. Shoot, looks like it was been in the salt water, doesn't it? A little environmental damage. Wow. Jeez, that thing is really, really, really chewed up. 1964? Yeah. Chewed up piece. A lot of people think the 1964 uh, nickels are actually silver, but they are not. Not, not, not. Um, looks like I might have some silver in here though. Yeah, how do I get this open now? How do I do these things? Oh, it just, it's like the old baseball card uh, situation here. Alrighty, I can do that. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, it even sounds like silver, some of it, yeah. All right, so what do we got? We got, uh, that's a nice one right there. Yeah, a little Canadian, old Canadian piece. 1940, that's gotta be silver, right? Old Canadian quarter. Man, that's an old, old one, too. That's special. Uh, let's see. Um, another nice piece. I didn't even look at the box to see if it came from Canada. Because I know that's going to be super expensive shipping if that's the case. Let's see. Another cool piece, huh? Which one is this one? This is a 1965 er so the 1965, are they still silver? Because I know they did 80% silver, right? Are they, was that 65 still per quarter? I got to look it up. Um, I'm not that much of a, a foreign guru. Every time I get foreign coins, I like look them up. There's so many out there. This is going to be silver for sure. What did I say? 1900, 10 cents. Yeah, buddy. And I believe that theirs is all... 80%. Luckily, I have uh, plenty of books that I can use for world coins to double check everything. But hey, thank you regardless whether it's silver or not in there. It's still cool. Uh, what do we have here? We have, I don't even want to touch that quarter. That quarter is like really nice. Let's scoot it without actually touching it. Uh -huh. So what's going on here? We have a a buffalo nickel, and this is a no date, which is pretty common to find buffalo nickels like that, no date. Sometimes you can put these in some acid kind of little mixture, and sometimes that date will peak out, but I, I like them just as is. I'd rather not try to etch into them. You know, I'm not sure that anybody would even want a, a rare date uh, buffalo nickel after it's been dipped in acid. And of course, I just dropped it, which maybe nobody's going to want that now, now that it's touched the floor. Let's see what this one is. So again, a no date. I can't, nah, I can't make out the date. That's just been worn to death. Worn to death. Still cool though. 
Still a lot of history right there. And speaking of history, look at this right here. Right here. An old five cent shield nickel. Wow. These are cool, man. I love these a lot. Aren't those nice? I love when our currency looks like this, man. It's just so much cooler. So much cooler. Keep the presidents off there. Just keep cool stuff on it. Oh, man, I just touched the quarter. All right, I'm going to try to just touch the edge only. Just touch the edge only. So, yeah, P meant mark. So, you know, that's a newer quarter because they didn't do that in the old days. Put the P meant mark on there. 2007, Montana. Big sky country. Was my was my uh, secret admirer? Were they from Montana? Is that... Let me see the box real quick. Hold on. Um... See, shoot, I ripped off all the information. Oh, no, wait, here it is. Um, Arkansas. Arkansas. From, uh, I don't want to say the whole name, but it looks like uh, Sean. Sean, thank you very much. And now, let's get to these right here. Because there's some bills in here that I am not sure about what was what they were sent for. Not that I'm not thankful. Again, not that I'm not thankful. I'm just kind of curious. It seems like there's some kind of, you know, something going on here. So maybe some Sean can... Can enlighten us too. So the first thing I'm drawn to on these is the serial number. Maybe something's going on. We got a, a six three nine six six nine three six. So six three nine six and then six three nine six. So that's a radar note, right? When it goes, if no matter which way you look at it, it's gonna be the same. Six three nine six six three nine six. So that's a radar note. That one makes sense. <laughs> sense. That's special. Very cool. Um, you know, something like that. Is it is it worth a lot? You know what I mean? Uh, just to kind of talk about it for a second. You know, it might be worth something to somebody. Somebody might want that radar note. Uh, if those any of those digits right there mean something to them, then they'd probably be more likely to buy it. Uh, the note itself is very wrinkly. Uh, so it's worth at least $5. That's for sure for the time being until... Something else happens to this crazy government. <laughs> uh, ooh, this one's actually really special. Look at this. You have 1121, 1121, another radar note. That's really nice, man. And not only is it uh, radar because it goes the same way both ways, but then that's binary too because it only it's two different numbers, right? The one and two. Ones and twos. That's awesome. If it was one and zero, imagine the, the value on that. Woo-wee! Ooh wee that's a nice bill right there. That might be one that I go ahead and put on my desk somewhere as a little thank you to Sean, too, for, for uh, showing me this package. And, hey, making a little video out of it, too. I think that's kind of nice. Kind of nice. Super nice. Uh, let's see. We got... Um, see, this is where I get it confused. We got, some, we got some sevens on there, you know, little lucky sevens. But what are we doing here? What's... Because 8321579... Like it, why, why was this one sent? This is where I get confused now, Sean. And maybe anybody viewing can help me try to understand what makes this dollar special. Don't get me wrong. I'm thankful. I'm just curious why this one was sent. Let me try to look at both of them to see if I'm missing something here. Am I missing something? I don't know. I don't know. Help me out, everybody. Help me out. So that's that's what I'm curious about. Here we have a star note, which means there was some error down the line of these bills right here somewhere. So um, as far as I can tell, it's just the star note that makes this one special. But I don't see too anything too interesting here, uh, unless there's some kind of secret. This is some kind of secret number that I'm not really understanding right now because you know spectacular is a little bit on the dumb side. Maybe I'm not grasping it. But a star note is still kind of cool. Um, I was keeping all my star notes and then I was even keeping 20s but then I found like a lot of 20s that were in star notes and I'm like well shoot I can't do that forever because I got to spend them sometime right um, let's see right here what do we got what are we working with it's a six, 1963 note again not sure here what we're doing not sure uh, 25848362 what is what is the meaning behind this Sean help me out and anybody that may be uh, watching that's, you know, more wise uh, than me when it comes to this stuff, 
help me out. I never claim to be a genius. I never claim to be a master. I don't claim to be an expert. I claim to be a student, um, like many of you, that uh, you know learns all the time from people that are way more experienced and way better at uh, knowledgeable at all this stuff than I am. Um, I got about this much knowledge, and I you know meet people and I talk to people and I interview people for my channel that have you know way more, way off the screen knowledge. You know I'm trying my best to learn, and I really enjoy this hobby, and that's who I am. Uh, but Sean, thank you very much for this package. Uh, really, really special pieces. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, um, because, you know, I'm crazy. I'm going to put, even though this right here is, you know, I'd call it a coal coin, which means it's damaged. It just, you know, has that damage right there. And it's really, the numismatic value is gone. Um, I'm still going to keep it. I'm going to keep it in a capsule. And, uh, yeah, it's going to, you know, it's still worth something to me. It's still beautiful. And don't get me wrong, it's 90% silver, and it still has value as a Morden dollar, too. I mean, people are paying extra for these. Even though they're cull, they do pay extra for those. So um, I keep them. You know, I love those things for sure. Uh, the Peace Dollar, it's definitely been been uh, cleaned up a little bit. You can see that it's kind of like polished and buffed, and it got all these hairline scratches. You can see that it has some luster to it, but you can see how dull it is. You can see how just yeah man it's just so dull it doesn't like the fields right here it's just jacked up jacked up because they just swiped it with something they tried try to rub off whatever gunk was on there thinking that it was dirty and it probably was just you know toning up naturally you know with, with just how silver tones uh which is you know, silver and chemicals in the air that turns it different you know dark colors sometimes or sometimes rainbow colors but look at that you can see how it has a little bit of a a luster to it but the the eagles all worn down the all the fields and the letters are just rubbed down so that's definitely a cleaned coin but still i'm sitting here talking smack about it still beautiful still cool still love to have it um if i go to a shop and i'm trying to look for uh peace dollars i'm probably going to shy away from the cleaned ones unless i get a good deal and that's just some information for anybody who doesn't know that's watching right now going like, why is that coin there and why is it special? Uh, the American Silver Eagle, though, this one's actually pretty nice. Uh, is it perfect? No, but it's pretty nice. Uh, second year of issue and uh, nice, nice coin right there. Nice coin. Look at that. I like it. I like how it has a little bit of toning to it and uh, just special. Nice bullion piece. And just for fun, let's see... Because I got the red book of coins here. I know this is a long video. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm a coin guy. You know what I mean? I'm just, I like coins. I'm not the coin guy, but I'm just a guy that is, you know, into coins. I got to look for the bullion products here. Commemoratives. Where you at? Gold bullion, silver bullion. I'm just curious if they have the mintage on the 87. So, yeah, as so you can see, the 86, first year of issue. Uh, there's the mintage right there, a little bit over 5 milli. And by a little bit, I mean like a quarter of a million over. Um, and we're going to go 87. It was just 87, right? No mint mark. Yeah, just 87. Uh, usually the mint mark stuff was stuff that you had to buy from the mint. You weren't going to get it, you know, bullion style. Let's see what we got here on that. So 87. Yeah, a ton. 11.4 million. So don't look at that number and think, oh, it's worth less. Uh, still has a lot of value as a silver eagle, man. Silver eagles, we saw those last year go up to like over $40 for common date, just regular silver eagles, man, as long as they were in nice condition, um, over 40 bucks each. Crazy. Even though silver was, you know, only going to almost 30, I mean, 28, 29, you still had to get a huge premium on those things. Uh, that's, that's all come down a little bit now, but, uh, still very cool coins. Uh, this right here is definitely the highlight. I think Sean, no offense to the other coins. I don't mean to disrespect you coins right there no offense to you all i hope you forgive me but this right here was a really special round and i uh, really love the reverse on that let's look at that one more time just to recap just to recap that was actually really cool i like that a lot I like that a lot and i like a lot the people that serve this country and uh, any country that you're in people that serve and you should like them a lot too and this stinking fake stinking fake sean we were able to identify a little magnet test a little did i miss any fakes oh that one's, oh, look at that. But it's supposed to be, right? Is that supposed to be? I don't even know what that's even made of. <laughs> but it's also magnetic. Uh, Canadian dollar, huh? Fantastic. So that's actually kind of a pretty coin, though. I will say. I will say it. 
Uh, anything else magnetic just for fun? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, oh, the box is fake. Oh no, it's a fake box. How do I know? Because it come from China. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. I went to silly land. Uh, appreciate you all for watching, Sean. I appreciate you for sending me this box. Really, really cool. Really special. Um, listen, man, if you can reach out to me via email, spectacular at yahoo.com, I would like to thank you on there, you know what I mean, personally, and just, uh, it was cool. It was cool. And this is pretty much a video dedicated to Sean's for sending me this cool box of just random things. I mean, you know, I say they're random as if that's a bad thing, but it's a great thing. As a coin collector, as somebody who loves numismatics and, you know, all things even close, like silver rounds, this is a special little thing. This is this is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I gotta go for now. Appreciate you for watching. Appreciate Sean for sending me this box. Spectacular is out. Yeah.